Hello and welcome to yes, Light in here. the Darkness. We're back. Yes, yes and tonight uh, we have three lights in the darkness with us. We have three lights in the darkness on the fast track. Yes, on the fast track. And we've been gone for a very long time, so I'm mean, so apologetic to people, but we are back, like Erna said. And um, I took a nice vacation, and we're going to have that coming up, how I manifested that and Ernest got manifestations. But tonight, we are going to celebrate a very special lady, and her name is very close to mine. Uh, I'm going to introduce her. It's Allie McDonald. I was no D. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, we just we had the red hair together now. We uh, we said we were twins and separated at birth. And uh, <laughs> so um, Allie has, like I said, a very inspiring story to share. And I'm very honored to have her as a guest. And she, um, in her growing up, was very dysfunctional. And so... She has just recently written a book about it, and I am like so excited to tell her story. So I'm glad Ali start. But no, okay. hang on. Um, okay. If you have children watching yes, this, you. yeah, then please watch this first before you let your children watch, because this is not like content that is children privy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not appropriate. Yep. Yep. So, yeah. Ellie, now your right. turn. Take it away. <laughs> Who are you? Who? What well, was your life like? Well, um, so I grew up um, in a military family, and my parents were teenage kids basically my mother was 16 when I was born my father was 19 and but he was already in the air force we were a military family but the part that I needed to tell was that when I was about five until I was about 18 my father was sexually abusing me and Your father. it took me my father, yes. I know it's like I have heard I've heard this happen to others too. Like every time I had heard somebody else mention it, it was like a stepfather or an uncle. But yeah. yes, it was my father and I know now that I am not the only one that this has happened to. Um yeah. so Yeah, you feel uh, isolated, yes. I can imagine that. Eh? I did feel, I did when I was younger, feel quite isolated. My um, my father told me when I was old enough to begin understanding, because when when he was first molesting me, I did not understand. And I had no, I had some strange feelings, but I didn't know how to express them. I didn't have the words. This was my father. I trusted this person. This person is the person I needed to trust with my life when I'm five yeah. years old. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I didn't have the words. And when I began to have a little more understanding, he would say that it was beautiful, that the outside world did not understand because they were messed up. The whole, the world was messed up. They didn't understand. They had a strange idea of morals. So he was what I would call a moral, which doesn't mean that you have terrible morals. It means you don't believe in morals. Yeah. You know, it means, and um, so, and he thought, and he told me he thought, it was beautiful, that it was just a beautiful thing. It was, it was love. So I believed this for a while growing up, but there were things, other things he started to say too, that, well, don't tell anybody because they won't understand. And actually they may take that off to jail. And I was like, well, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want my father to go to jail. So I didn't speak, but I got the idea that, okay, 
this is not all right in the outside world, you know, and this is, this is like maybe when I'm seven or eight, or whatever it was, it's like, okay, this is not all right in the outside That is world. actually quite young to realize uh, that started when something, I was five. yeah, yeah but, but, to, was five. but to realize that something is not right and that the outside yeah. world is um, different and that it's yeah. not what happens is not what happens in the outside world to realize yeah. that at, at that age you were yeah. actually quite ahead <laughs> I wasn't a dumb kid I really I was I was a, I give myself credit for that I was a smart kid basically yeah but uh, yeah so but yeah so it was very confronting it was like okay I had to live this life at home that I could not talk about, you know, I couldn't yeah. speak about. And it, 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 I had that personality then. It's just like, I wanted to step back. I wanted to not get involved in the world because I didn't know how to navigate it. You know, I didn't know how to make friends. I felt like I didn't belong because basically I didn't allow myself to belong. It's like, yeah. no, they're going to think I'm weird. They're going to think I'm creepy. They're going to think whatever. And it was, it was scary. And so, yeah. I can yeah. just imagine. Yeah. And um, so um, I haven't, um, sh I don't think I've shared my story on here or not. I shared my story on when we were doing um, on the other platform. Um, before this, which was uh, was it with TikTok? TikTok. Yeah. Um, I have, yeah, I haven't shared my story here on Instagram, but my story is similar to Ali. And um, so you know, and so when you have um, survived sexual child abuse, um, and you run into someone that um, has also been abused, you feel a connection and. And so that's what Allie and I feel like this connection. So I know she feels good and comfortable um, telling her, us her story because she knows like I'm in the room for somebody else who understands. And um, and that's important. It's just like um, an alcoholic. And then you knowing another alcoholic, I'm like, okay, he gets me. He knows what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, same thing. Uh, so yeah. yes, and Allie, um, how did you come about writing your story? your story, your book? Well, you know Harry Power, right? So I had... I know him too. Was, she, yeah, yeah. And Erna, Erna you know yeah, yeah. Harry Power also. That's interesting. I didn't know that. But um, that's cool. Yeah. So through Perry Power, I had um, a really wonderful business coach um, who was you know, I was doing some things with her, but she said, you know what? She's in South Africa. And she said, you know what? I know of a man in the UK that with what you've been talking about in this, in this course, he would be really good for you. So I went and I checked out his profile page, first of all. And I was like, yeah, I want to friend this man because Perry is just wonderful. And yeah. he he's so engaging and he's so compassionate and he's just really he just has a lot of drive for what he does. He wants to break the silence and he wants to help other people break the silence. Yeah. And he's just really passionate about it. And so I was like, Yeah, I wanna I want to <laughs> I want talk in. to this man. Yeah, I want to talk to this man. But and then it was like, well, I have this course. Now this was over a year ago, and at that point he called it Storytelling Academy. Yeah. And it has gone through several iterations since then. And you know, and I talked to him about it, and it was like, oh, first I don't know if I can afford this, and it's like, yep, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I really wanted to do it, and. I wanted to get my book out. I wanted to write this book because 
I've been through a process where I'm really tired of being fake, of hiding. I yeah. didn't want to do that anymore. You know, my life is on my Facebook page. It's out there now, you know. And uh, How did so, people react when, when you broke the silence? Now, see, that is, that is a beautiful, that's the beautiful thing about it is that I discovered that people react with compassion and understanding. And there are people out there going, oh, me too, you know? Yeah. And it's like, those people needed to hear somebody say, hey, this happens in the world and you're not alone, yeah. you know? And so... So it was really, it was really marvelous in my book, which I'm going to show you my book real quick. Yes, this is yes. Walking Out of Shame. And um, I talk about, I also I had a coach before I wrote the book that gave me a challenge. I was telling him my story. I told him about my childhood. Actually, it was backwards. He brought me in to like discussion that he has with people. And he says, he asked me, how old are you? I said, at the time, I said, I'm 60. He said, okay, well, tell me what your life was like at 50. And tell me, then it was, oh, that was a really good decade for me. I was losing weight, I was getting healthy, blah, 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 all that. And then what about 40? And then what about 30? And what about 20? And what about 10? And by the time I had gone through an abusive ex-husband and my childhood, and everything, and I, I was just falling apart. I was just crying. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah. said, he said, Allie, he said, there's been a theme in your life, and that is, am I safe? Which is, that's actually, I'm discovering a common theme for a lot of people. Yeah. Growing up, it's just, am I safe? I am not safe, you know? And that was my theme and had been a theme for me. And I just broke down crying, and I just had so much compassion for this little girl that I was that just did not feel safe, you know? Yep. And he said, but then the coach said, I have a challenge for you. And I'm like, what? Because I try to take challenges. I learned to try to take them. I was like, what? He said, I want you to try to tell your story to 30 people in 30 days. Will you do that? Yeah, that and I'm like, cool challenge. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah. okay, I'll do it. And I did. I gathered people from that I was meeting on a website to empower women. Mm -hmm. I gathered people from um, just different walks of my life. And I said, will you do a call with me about this? Because I have this challenge to do. And so I got 30 people to say yes. And one of them was my mother. I talked to my mother um, and they were just, and I talk about this in my book, this challenge, because this challenge was really a breakthrough for me. That is when I learned how, how people can be, you know, how, how wonderful they can mm. be, how they can hold space. And love you through yeah. times like that. And it was like, and I didn't get the 30th one in until the 30th day, but I did it. You know, it was like, so that was a really, it was an exciting challenge. And it was, it was a big reason that I said, you know what? I am done with this. I am just yeah. done with being afraid to talk about my life. I'm just finished. And so, and e e Perry, I went on his, he's got a website, um, the Power Tribe, and people are telling their stories and supporting each other. And I read one woman and she, she just went on live and she was telling her story. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh. I'm typing to her. I'm like, gosh, I'm typing in the comments. I said, I've told people my story, but I've never just gone live on Facebook. And guess what Perry does? He comes back and he says, why not? <laughs> yeah. Why haven't really? you done that? 
your next album. I'm like, oh my God. And and so I did. And so I did. I mean, I do, I try when when I see something's in front of me like that, I try to accept it because I know that most of the time it brings me to the other side of something. So I did that and I got nothing but supportive comments. Nothing but supportive comments. And mm. On Instagram, there was one woman that I hadn't spoken to in, for years and years. I knew her in high school. She was, well, my sister and I were friends with these other two girls who lived next door. And she was one of them. And she said, I never knew this was going on. And I'm like, yeah, I know you didn't know. You know, I didn't talk about this when I was in high school. So, did, yeah. Did, it, did it, your it's mom been an interesting know? Ride. Did, did your mom My, know? Or so I do, I sort of explain this. My mother was 15 years old to begin with. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's in a lot of ways, in a, yeah, well, she was 15 when she met him. She was 16 when I was born. But what I realized is that in a lot of ways, yes, but the answer, the straight answer is yes, she did know. Um, in a lot of ways, my mother was inculcated the same way I was. Like, yeah. in our home, this was normal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, for me, it was normal. And for her, it's like my father kind of brought her up the same way he brought me up. It's like she, mm -hmm. she had a hard time, and I had a hard time. He could be a violent person. And we had a hard time just disagreeing with him or, or standing up to him. At least I did. Now, my sister was different, and she'll tell him. When she read my book, she said, she said, you and I have different stories. I'm like, yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. And I have two other siblings, too. Um, and our stories are all different yeah. about our childhood. And um, so, but yes, my mother, my mother knew, but... The issue was she didn't know how to take four kids because she had four kids by the time she was 21. She didn't know how to take four kids and and just raise them and take care of them by yeah. herself. Yeah. She was terrified of that, you know. Of and course. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Ali, so yes, you mentioned um, Perry, and I want to put in a plug for Perry too. Um, so, uh, Perry's book is Breaking the Silence. Like yeah. Ali said, he is very passionate about doing that, and I'm very passionate about doing that. Um, and so, Ali and I met through Perry, and I met Perry uh, when I was going through my depression. Um, it all came to a head. I couldn't, um, like, pretend anymore. It didn't happen. I had to face the music. And um, Perry, I the universe just led me to Perry, and I was like so thankful. Read his book, and that was the first book that I read on on abuse um, at, during my depression. And then I have another great uh, person that we know, and that's Mark Stowersby, and he's got the Forgiving the Nightmare. And um, so, yeah, these are excellent books, and uh, you can find them on Amazon. Uh, like uh, Ali mentioned, the Power Tribe. Just connect with Perry; he's awesome. Um, and that sort of thing. And I also have a messenger group um, that helps um, survivors like us work through our healing journey. And um, that's called uh, Breaking Free and Achieving Our Dreams. And um, so I welcome anybody to that. And um, another messenger group that I have is just to, uh, if we love poetry, to express our, our um, words and put it into poetry and inspire one another. So I have those. And then Erna is an energy healing coach. And she helped me through just um, being able to do the relaxation exercises. So because I knew it, like when I was going through it, I was I would have panic attacks and I would have a hard time breathing. And so she's like, you know, let's just find some exercises that we can do that will help that really, you know, release that. And, and we've been friends ever since. So here we are. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. and uh, Erna, she's like my front man. And so <laughs> Erna, 
Erna earlier. Um, I had told Erna this is what we wanted to do. We wanted to set the, the pace and make sure the children were out of the room. And then I totally forgot it. I was so excited to have Allie with us. So thank you, Erna, for taking that. And um, then I do want to add that if anyone watching this feels like there should be a child to hear this because that child might be um, you know, in harm way, in harm's way, then please um, give the get this information, share it with their parent first, because it may just make a difference, uh, or or share it with someone you know you can trust. Um, but yes, we want to help them. We don't want to, you know, we want to um, have them um, like if they're, you know, just they have never heard of this before. We don't want to scare them, so we want to make sure that they were not in the room. So. Um, with that said, anyone else have anything else to say? Any concluding words from you, Ellie? <laughs> any, any concluding words from me? Just, yeah, if, well, my message to people right now is that if you've been through this, that there are ways you can transform these memories from your past um, into inner peace, joy. You can take back your life. And that's that's why I wrote this book. I want people to know that you can take back your life. Yeah. Yes, that's powerful. Um, Allie, how do we get your book? It's on Amazon. It's called Walking Out of Shame. And there are Kindle and the paperback version available there. Awesome. And I Ooh. am going to lady because I promised you I would. And um, so I have been like trying to revise my story and get it published. And I know that by reading your story, it will inspire me. So I'll be first one on the Amazon <laughs> checking that out. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Allie. Welcome. Thanks for ha thanks for coming and, and I'm so glad we had you on here. Well, you're welcome. I appreciate both of you. Thank you, Erna. Thank you, Allie, for having me. Well, yeah. thank you. It was really nice to meet you, Allie. Nice mm -hmm. to meet you both. Well, I met Allie before, but that is the first yeah. time I've met you <laughs> True, true. You have a good evening, Allie. And I'll see you, you too. In the group. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.